Welcome to the installation video for the SciTech Guava Muse Cell Analyzer. This video series is divided into five chapters to guide you through the setup and operation of your instrument so you can get started quickly. We will take you through, step by step, the following topics. Unpacking the instrument, installation of key components, preparing to run samples, running system check, general care and maintenance tips. Please review all chapters of the video before you begin. This video is intended to support the comprehensive user's guide for the instrument. We recommend you review that document carefully as well. Your Guava Muse cell analyzer will arrive in a foam upholstered box for protection. We recommend you keep this box should you need to safely move the unit to a different location or for shipping purposes. You will also receive a second reagent box. Please locate both boxes before beginning installation. Upon opening the instrument box, an accessory box will be located directly inside. Inside this box, you will find all necessary accessories for successful installation of the Guava Muse system. You will find a quick start guide for easy step-by-step -step instructions on how to get started. Inside the accessory box are two flow cells. These are very fragile and must be handled with care. Place in a secure spot and leave in original packaging until ready to install. There is also a power supply and two USB drives. The red USB drive contains recovery software should you need to reinstall. The green USB drive includes a copy of the comprehensive user's guide. We highly recommend that you refer to this document and read carefully before operating the instrument. A version of the user's guide is also available online. Cleaning and waste bottles are clearly labeled with icons indicating their purpose and have corresponding color-coded tubing. The syringe tool is used for cleaning flow cells should they become blocked. The tightening tool is used to tighten the fittings on the bottle tubing and flow cell connection. 100 1.5 milliliter conical tubes are provided for general instrument use. You will find the country-specific cords just under the pre-pack box. Remove them all and set aside. Next, carefully remove the instrument from the box. Pull the instrument out of the box using the carrier handles. Place box insert with the instrument on a stable surface. Open the plastic covering and place the Muse on a stable surface away from any equipment that vibrates. Next, locate the reagent chipping box. Inside, you will find a vial of instrument cleaning fluid that is necessary for proper maintenance of your instrument. There is also a Guava Muse system check kit, which is required to assess instrument performance. Now that you've identified all the components that are shipped with the Guava Muse, let's take a closer look at the instrument. The loader arm has a vial holder where you will place your sample when this is in the down position. Raising the loader arm up into the up position allows your sample to be analyzed. When you receive your new instrument, the loader arm should be locked in the up position. This will drop once the instrument is turned on. The on button is located at the front of the instrument. Do not switch your instrument on just yet. You will need to complete flow cell installation before powering up the instrument. The waste and cleaning bottles will be installed in these receptacles. Located at the top of the instrument is a chamber where you will place the flow cell. Installation of the flow cell is covered in Chapter 2. The serial number of the instrument is located on the back of the instrument near the top. You will need this number when you register your instrument. There are a total of five USB ports on the Guava Muse for data transfer. Four USB ports are located on the rear of the instrument. One is at the front of the instrument near the on button. 
you are now ready to complete installation. Before proceeding to the next step, please take a moment to register your instrument. This important step takes only a few minutes and will ensure you receive critical firmware updates and software updates for all new applications released. You will need to provide the serial number and fill in the required fields.